everyone, long time no see. So the first thing I'm going to use is the Clean Fresh CoverGirl. I've been looking for a BB cream because foundation is really harsh on the skin. And I just have realized like I can't do foundation every single day. I love how I can just apply it with my fingers. It is a little too light, but I can work with it. The next product is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. You guys know what it is. So I just apply it on my basic points, you know, my under eyes, the sides, a little bit of my forehead, nose, and chin. And what I've noticed is that even though I could maybe see a few blemishes, it works perfectly fine. Like my whole face is fully covered and it's very light compared to wearing foundation. So I've been liking the CoverGirl, but I'm not going to recommend it yet because I only bought it a few days ago. Next, I use the Sasha Buttercup Powder and this Real Techniques brush. I'm going to show you that I always dab it on my hands before I put it straight on my face, so that way I can avoid putting too much powder. Then I use the Contour Palette, you know what it is, and I'm going to be using it for my eyes, my face, and my cheekbones. So I'm first using the product on my hand, and I'm going to use most of the contour on my forehead and then on my cheekbones to kind of give a little bit of color back to the face. Then I use the same contour shade and I'm going to use it on my nose to contour my nose just a little bit. As you can see, I just go up and down. It's very simple. Then I use the exact same shade and I use it on my eyelids. So it's like a three-in-one combo. I really like this palette and I've been using it for many, many years. Then I use the Anastasia Dip Brow and this brush and it's really important to dab a lot of the product on your hand because you don't want too much of the dip brow on your eyebrows. Basically, I use it to shape my eyebrows. Use it on the top and bottom of both of it and then I use any spoolie brush and I brush through each brow very, very well so that way I can have like a very fluffy look to them. Then I use the same MAC blush I've been using for many years and it's the shade Flirting with Danger. I also put some of the product on my hand to make sure I'm not using too much blush. Next, I use mascara. What's interesting is like, I noticed as long as you just stick to natural shades, no one really knows that you're wearing makeup even when you're using mascara. It's very fascinating. Next, I use the NYX lip gloss with a Victoria's Secret lip gloss. And the reason why is the NYX has color. So I use this and I really pile it on my lips to give myself a little bit of color and then I go in with the Victoria's lip gloss and you can use any clear gloss and what you do is just really pack in a lot of that clear gloss so you can have that really shiny clean look but yeah that's my no makeup makeup look I really hope you guys like it it's very straightforward very easy to do I hope you like this video and I'll catch you in my next one bye you go